The line tool allows you to draw lines either up, down, or diagonal. You can choose how short or long the line is, and here are different thicknesses, like here is a thin black line, or I could make it thicker, and the thickest black line is right here. If you wanted to change the color of a line, all you have to do is click down at the bottom. I am going to show you how you can use the line tool to make images. I'm going to go back to using the black and start with making a box. I click and drag and I can move the lines around. What do you think I'm making? I'm using basic shapes all made with a line tool. If you guessed a house, you were right. I could keep adding more and more details to this. If I wanted to, I could add some details inside the windows, or maybe even frame a window like this. Or maybe I could just do a window across. Or maybe I could even make a window ledge. I know that some students actually prefer just drawing using the line tool instead of trying to use a paintbrush or a pencil because it's easier to get a nice long line. If you are using the line tool, remember that you can always use the eraser as well. If you needed to think about where something is going, you can place a little mark there with the line tool. And later, when you need to, it's very easy to erase. Hey, why is my eraser pink? Oh, can you tell me why? Down at the bottom, I have black because I was using it for the line tool, and that box is pink. I need to change this box to the color of the paper. The reason the eraser, whoopsies, even teachers make mistakes. The reason the eraser needs a color is that sometimes your background is going to be a different color. Like I'm gonna give this a light blue and then my ground a green. And maybe I'll go ahead and make the house red. If I'm using the eraser and the eraser is white, I can fix this by changing the color of the eraser to the color of the paper. Whoops. See how I have to click it for the back? Or I can simply use the paint bucket after I erase and fill it in.